Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Thierry Rocher, and as uh, Carlos said, I have two hats, let's say. It's uh, between my first hat is in France with uh, heading the Office for Student Assessment, and the second hat is more international because uh, I've been elected as the chair of IEA since January. But this morning, I will mainly focus on my first hat and uh, the French experience, but giving you some, some, uh, some points on IEA as well, but very, very briefly. And I want to precise that I am absolutely not a specialist in uh, creativity and critical thinking. I'm much more uh, a manager of uh, uh, assessment programs and coordination and so on. Okay, just to, just to give you a first picture of uh, the landscape, let's say, of uh, the assessment, uh, student assessment programs in France, we run several, uh, let's say, blocks of assessment, I would say, like we can distinguish like surveys, that means sample-based assessment. On the national level, we have different program. And international le uh, level, as you know, like PISA or IES studies, like PERS, teams, etc. So my department is responsible for running all this and much newer assessment, like nationwide assessments. Um, on, um, for, so taken by every pupils. At the moment, just to, to, to say there are about 3 million pupils taking tests in France like diagnostic tests at three grades and uh, in order to provide some feedback to students at the beginning, uh, to teachers at the beginning of the school years, but also to use in terms of indicators. So that's, that's the very broad uh, landscape of assessment in France. I will focus on this program, which is mainly how to measure at a, so on the sample base uh, uh, assessment, the, what we call the common base or the common core, I would say which is not subject-oriented. We have another program for that, doing math, etc. But it's like cross-curricular, let's say, uh, oriented or interdisciplinary, which is the socle commun de connaissance, de compétence et de culture, which is, we can call that a common core, I would say. It's, uh, so we have these five domains that are very large, and for example, the first one is about languages. But languages, not only French languages, but uh, math languages or science languages. Uh, so it's uh, uh, intended to be very cross uh, subjects. Um, and it includes, of course, uh, a set, uh, uh, a broad set of skills. How do you, would you call it a 21st century skill or soft skills or whatever? It's not my point here, but there are some uh, 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 things about critical thinking, cr creativity, collaboration, problem solving, and so on in this uh, framework. Uh, 2016, by the way, a uh, new framework uh, in France, the, the SOCL. So we have a program to measure uh, the attainment of the students according, regarding this uh, SOCL. So on a sample base, so it's low stakes. It's sample base is to provide indicators to the nation, let's say. OK, so we have ongoing projects on these kind of emerging skills, which are, which are not new skills, of course, but like uh, uh, emerging, I would say. I don't have any other better terms. But we, are, we focused on four, let's say, aspects which are critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, and complex problem solving now that are much more now situated, let's say, in a, in a subject uh, oriented orientation like in math and science. But the aim, so it's to build online standardized assessment and, uh, for lower uh, grade students, grade six to grade 10, and in the first step, because we have also in mind the second steps to go on a primary school level, which is, uh, point very important point is the, the, that we are we are in a collaborative uh, spirit. Let's say between DEP, that means DEP is my directorate, uh, so statistical department, psychometrics, collecting data, and so on, with researchers that are really on the theoretical and the, the uh, aspects and the frameworks, and teachers, which is very important to work closely with teachers. And I think it was one of, part of the discussion that we had uh, during this conference had to. To, to have more link, more work between teachers and, and researchers, so, so something very important for us. So we started in 2018 to 2000 and, uh, and today, until today, let's say, and from fr first frameworks to first data collection. So I won't give you uh, results because I don't have uh, reliable results at the moment. So I will just give you the big picture of where we are and, and especially what we are our questions for the moment, and what do we use in terms of tools as well? So it's very work in progress. So I will talk about 
critical thinking, but uh, under the control of one of the researchers who is uh, here in the audience, because uh, so she can correct me afterwards if she wants, Audrey Bedel, which is in the room, who is in the room. And then we took uh, the, the framework, like it's quite an old framework, let's say, uh, with uh, distinguish the critical thinking between disposition, let's say like curiosity or openness, these kind of things, then distinguish from competencies. This is in French, but I mean, you can read it in English, interpretation, analysis, evaluation, inferences, and explanation, let's say. So that's the different kinds of, uh, uh, of uh, competency skills that are the components, let's say, of the critical thinking as a whole. So I won't go into details in, in, in all these components. I just want to say that we have a first data collection in 2019. And the first, some issues I want to share with you that arose after this data collection is that, what are we measuring, in fact? For example, disposition. Is it real disposition or is it social des desirability? Is it, I am very curious, yes, of course, but what is exactly uh, the construct and uh, the, the, the target dimension here? Interpretation, how students, it's very important for critical thinking that students interpret the, the information they receive, but interpretation, maybe it's only reading comprehension. Is it something else? It's something still, I think, to, 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 to distinguish a bit. Inference, making inference, logical reasoning, but is it inference in the critical thinking area or is it only, let's say, uh, fluid intelligence. It's for us a real question to be able to identify specific skills rather than more generic that could be components. So, of course, another question was about the dimensionality, the marking also raised some issues. And there is a, a promising uh, dimension, I would say, is the explanation part. That means the ability to, to, to formalize, communicate, justify is reasoning in a very clear way. So in order to do that, we use some simulated uh, agent uh, situation. Uh, so for example, here, uh, the students are in a, a chat conversation with uh, fake uh, uh, mates, let's say. And then they argue about a hamster here and the age of a hamster, or the expectancy life, life expectancy of a hamster. And there is debate and a lot of argument like, my father is a doctor, so he told me that the life expectancy is blah, blah, blah. And then they have to react. And we discover at the end that the father lied to his uh, children <laughs> because he didn't want to make it pain because the hamster died. So that's all a story like this. Very, very interesting because it's like a real life situation. And it's not, if we ask students directly to argue, to give arguments, to write and so on, it's more difficult for them to, to be involved in the task. And also, we are going to measure very different things. So we think this is very prom promising for us. So the, just, I, I said I won't talk about IEA, but still, I have a, one slide about <laughs> IEA. Uh, because um, maybe you know this survey, ICILS, uh, on um, uh, computer and information literacy uh, scale uh, uh, competencies. Um, and there, there was also some questions here, very interesting questions about the critical thinking in this uh, environment of uh, digital literacy, let's say. And as you can see here, the, the more performance students, the more performance they are able to have this critical thinking uh, when they search information, when they receive an email that can be a bit dangerous and so on, it's only 2%. So I think it's, it's a very important result that we have really to work on uh, and push to work on, the, on this aspect of critical thinking uh, in this new, especially in this new environment of a digital uh, sphere and, and area. Uh, so save the date on the 5th of November, there will be the release of the ICS 2018 and uh, a dozen of countries participated. So it will be a very exciting uh, result for sure. Creativity and collaboration, I'm going very fast because you are going to, uh, to hear uh, my colleague's thoughts and I don't want to spoil uh, his presentation. So, uh, uh, and it will be much, much better than me to explain what are the, uh, the, the, the challenges and so on. But the, I think the or originality is that we go in two directions. First is the fusion, let's say, between creativity and collaboration. That's, we, I think we ask creativity, but also to work in group. How does a group can be creative? So that's. That's not only I'm, I'm, I'm giving some, uh, I have, okay, divergent ideas or these kind of things. It's also how do I do this in groups? So that's, and the other things is much more the potential. So, uh, uh, so the, the creative task uh, in individual context, let's say. 
I just want to quick word on uh, complex problem solving, if, even if it's a bit aside of what we are talking um, uh, today, but I think it can, we can, we can uh, grab some ideas in it. We have some uh, math interactive items, quite a lot of, and that uh, uh, pupils, they, are, uh, they dive into this kind of interactive environment, uh, and they, they, tr they have to solve some problems, and uh, for for example, trying with some try and guess uh, procedures and so on. And we started just to, to to talk to you that if you are interested, we started some analysis on the data processing, on the um, process data, and uh, that means what we are more interested about is not necessarily what is the answer, but how the students uh, get to the got to the answer. And uh, so we are very interested. It's a uh, uh, to be to be to be uh, submitted in a journal uh, in in a, in a few months, I would say, uh, but we have very f uh, very first interesting result that I'm sure we can certainly at some points use in this kind of uh, complex uh, uh, competencies that are uh, assessed like critical thinking or creativity. Very last slide is about an initiative that I want to to share with you. Is about the, what's so called the Flip Plus. It's a a community around e-assessment is a community of uh, institutions from different countries. We start with uh, France, Luxembourg, Italy, and Portugal, which is the acronym FLIP, but then plus Brazil, people from Denmark, from Japan, and so on. So it's growing and growing about sharing. So sharing innovative experience around e-assessment, IT development, and also we are going to build like an item library that could be shared with and anyone who wants to, to, to be part of, the, of, the, of the, the, this um, community. So please, if you want to know more, just ask me or visit the website uh, to join uh, the association, which is very open. Which are some, here are some projects we have or we have realized or we, that are on, on project on computational thinking, co collaborative pad, and so on, just to give you an idea of this kind of innovative task. Time's up. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup.